as the gender war rages on. In order to keep the peace, we must discuss the exact facts. Welcome to Exfactly. I'm your host, Saad Imam. Remove your shoes and enter upon your right foot, upon the right state of mind. Assalamu alaikum. Topic. Man's best friend. Usually this is an esteemed title reserved for the canine variety. Some would advocate that it is ideal that a wife be her husband's best friend above all. But in order to earn this esteemed title, one must outdo the canine variety. So therefore, there are many lessons that wives or women in general could learn from the animal kingdom. Firstly, there is rescue versus pedigree. A rescue is an animal that had been abandoned or mistreated. And some kind individual would go and assume that animal, adopt that animal, and provide for it shelter and care. But there are others that are pedigree, well-groomed, well-taken-care-of, without any traumatic experiences. These are my two examples of the women that we tend to meet these days. Some men assume rescues and some men prefer pedigree. Now there's a hadith of Muhammad wasallam that says men marry women for four reasons. One is beauty and whether a woman is rescue or pedigree, beauty is a factor. The second one, he says, wealth. Well, some rescues can provide wealth in case of breeding and selling the offspring. But yet and still, this is forbidden for the believer. Nevertheless, the one of pedigree will provide or offer more opportunities for wealth. Maybe her family is wealthy. Maybe uh, she has uh, a bit of education and know-how where she could out actually also be an earner and offer you sadaqah, you know, in relation to supplement your maintenance. He also said nobility. Nobility, again, we're talking about rescues, people that Women that were not raised with the father or didn't have a, an, uh, an adequate mother even. Nevertheless, they are beautiful and you see them, you're attracted to them. Nevertheless, they are rescue because the potential for failure is higher in that regard. Then you have the ones that are, Muhammad son spoke about, the noble, the ones of nobility. Third reason, men marry women. Nobility. These are the pedigree. Raised with mother and father. Raised in a, uh, a, a better environment. Raised with better education. The mother was uh, ample and she provided certain life skills. Uh, the father was a protector. Showed her how to... Uh, you know, care for and uh, act around the male dominant figure. So this is an example of pedigree. Now, when it comes to the fourth reason, which is Dean, uh, when you're dealing with man's best friend in the animal kingdom, uh, this really wouldn't apply. They say that the ideal wife should be man's BFF. 
That seems ideal, but the reality is in order for a woman to become man's or her husband's best friend, I should say, uh, she would have to meet or surpass the entity that is currently considered man's best friend. Best friend yes. qualities for a modern woman are most of the time strictly vaginal. This is what they offer and this is why they say they should be your best friend. And not even that is consistent, but to have the vagina always uh, ready, willing, and able is very significant for a man's uh, mental and emotional stability and to solidify in uh, his dean. Now, uh, with women, this is not always consistent. Some women use it. Some women use it in order to blackmail. Some women use it in order to have their weight. But actually, by the contract of nikah, which means to enter, it actually also implies sex. The contract of nikah means or implies sex. So therefore, sex is already in the contract. That's why in Islam, we don't believe in marital rape. Now, if a man beats you up and takes it, that's called abuse. That's not called rape if he is your husband. And I'll further explain. Muhammad Sallallahu said, do not beat your wife and then try to mount her like you do a riding animal. So he told us, don't, don't uh, juxtapose abuse and sexual relations. But he said, let there be a messenger between you, between you even entering your wife. And the Sahaba Rala Anhum said, what is that messenger, Ya Rasulullah? He said, kissing and talking. So Muhammad Sallam told us to, uh, to uh, enact foreplay before we enter a woman's uh, vagina. So even if a woman is not in the mood, there are certain things you can do to get her in the mood. Now, I know common simps, especially third wave simp shakes, and if you listen to women, they'll tell you the most romantic thing or the most turn on thing or the most foreplayist thing you can do, if that's a word, is to wash the dishes. See, they're trying to sissify us. And they're twisting hadith saying that Muhammad Islam did household chores. Yes, there are reports of him mending his shoes and mending his clothes. But the hadith says that he took care of his family. He took care of his family. That doesn't mean that uh, Aishra al-Anha or the other wives had no housely duties. There are many ahadith of them cooking and cleaning. Cooking and cleaning. So again... Uh, not to uh, go outside of the subject or digress too far, but if vagina is the only uh, tool that you have in order to uh, submit your uh, application for man's best friend, you're going to have to match man's current, be current best friend in the animal kingdom, or you're going to have to surpass it. 